Hello, everyone. I'm Nathan. This is Afton. And we're here from The Rookie. So today we're at TCA, and we're going to be answering, answering some, some questions, questions here on Facebook. Facebook. Afton, do you want to kiss us off? It's kiss? kiss? It's kick. I'm just reading that. Let's just keep going. Okay. What was your first TV role? My first TV role? Mine? What yes. was yours first? What's... My first TV role was uh, Yarissa Morgan on the second season of The Good Wife. Oh, not bad. Um, I, think I think the first time, time I was on, on like... like like properly on network, network television, television. Mm -hmm. I, played I played Tom, Tom Jardin, and I died, died in a plane crash in the North Pole on, on an ABC, ABC <laughs> movie of the week called Ordeal in the Arctic. Oh, the movies of the week. It was quite an ordeal. In the Arctic. It was close to the Arctic. Who is, is your, your TV inspiration? inspiration? And it, it could, could be, be an actor or, or, or like a character on TV. Oh my gosh, I don't know. You really don't oh, know? Oh, Mary Tyler Moore. That's a great one that I wouldn't have expected. Oh. You know what? A lot of Nick and Knight. You are going to make it after all. Oh, thank you. I would say, uh, for, for me, me um, Simon, Simon and Simon. Oh, yeah, my God. I thought, I thought that. Oh. If I, I can be Simon, Simon and Simon, Simon, I don't care which one. one. I just I want to live in San Diego and the solve crimes. And every day look like summer vacation for them. That's a good one. Never any snow. What was your favorite TV show growing up? I liked Gilligan's Island. Again, I wasn't a big fan of winter. And I grew up in Canada. That, that was, was my, my only kind of. Window, window into, into like a tropical, tropical paradise. I thought that was kind of nice. That's good. Yeah. You? Uh, uh, mine, mine would be, be I love Nick and Nick. Patty Duke. Because I was like, she's playing everything. everything. Yeah, you got some good classics going on. You got some nice, well-rounded. What has been your most memorable TV role? And it's okay if you say the one you're presently playing on the rookie. I forgot. Is that, Is that the one, one I work with? Oh, yeah. okay. Um, probably. probably. Right in my field. <laughs> Uh, wow. Uh, what, yeah, it would probably what meant, meant the most, most to you? What, how about this? Uh, uh, I'm going to ask you two questions. One yeah. is, which one meant the most to you, and which one do you feel has meant the most to uh, fans? To my fans. Okay, I would say, uh, I, I would, would say, say the, the, the one that meant the most to me was probably uh, my, my last series, series the Breaks, Breaks on VH1. It was a really cool character. She's young, young and, like, like, smart. Go get is her. it still on or did it get? No, 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 it's off. Them's the breaks. These are breaks. <laughs> that was good. Nice. That was a good pun. It was a good job. <laughs> now the one that meant the most to the fans? And also meant a lot to me. That this was gonna be my first one, but oh. it's dual. Um it'd probably be Helen Walker, Walker on season one, one of Homeland. You're good on that. Thank, Thank you. you. What was yours? My most memorable? Yeah. You, you know what's weird? weird? I, 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 I spent eight years, years on a television show. show. I, can I can barely, barely remember, remember any of it. <laughs> now that's either a function of age or season eight i did get kicked in the head by a pony and, and now, now i can't, I can't say, say the, the letter, letter. <laughs> now if you could have oh this is a great question if you could have any other job on set oh. what would it be any yeah. job would, Would you, you want, want to be the, the director? director? No. no. Me neither. <laughs> no. Well, that's a I job. would want to be... It has to be on, because I'd want to be the editor. I like I'd it. want to tell that story. You want to be alone in a dark room with a bank of computers. Well, that's not you made it sound weird. No, I just, I just mean like, it's like you. It's you I in control. I just want going, to have the mm. last say. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. I see what this is about. Control. <laughs> what about you? Um, who, who looks, looks like, like they're, they're having, having the most fun? You know, you, know, you, you want to say, uh, you want to say, say transpo, transpo because uh, it looks like they're never doing anything. But the fact is, <laughs> they get there six hours before you do, and they leave six hours after you do. It's, it's the worst. And then uh, they're just sitting in a hot van. Yeah, and they're like giant equipment that's yeah. a lot of responsibility. I don't want that. I think I would be the guy who says, um, hey, uh, just one second. We need you on set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's always those guys coming up to you saying, yeah. hey, did you see the movie on the weekend? <laughs> Got it. We need you on set. <laughs> That's a good job. Thanks. If you could do, if, if you could, could only have one food item at Crafty, crafty what, what would it be? I would, now my temptation is to say anything chalk, that would uh -huh. be, be great because it would really be. 
That would just make me happy. But the fact is, uh, you want if you could only have one food on set, you'd want to have some kind of protein. Protein will fill you and it will sustain you and help you keep focused throughout your day. And you? Skinny pop. <laughs> popcorn. Skinny pop popcorn. If you could have dinner with a fictional TV character, who would it be? Uh, it would Hang be. On. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Who would it be? I don't. You go first. If I could have dinner with a fictional TV character, it had to be someone, someone I, I, I want, want to see, see them eating. eating. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, great job with the food in your mouth. Who do I want to say that to? Who do you want to say that to? I don't know. I feel like it would have to be someone I'd want to be friends with. Mm -hmm. I would have to be, or someone I could say, okay, what's Should your deal? Oh, you know, you know what? what? I, I could get, get some, some oh, Frank, Frank Burns. Burns. I, 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 I was just, just so I could use it as a moment to say, hey, man, man. This, this is a match. match. Remember match, match guys? guys? Yeah. Frank, Frank Burns is such a little, little <laughs> fair. <laughs> little, no, it's just, I want to go, what's your malfunction? Why can't you just be nice? How about a hug? I would give him a hug. Just to try to warm him up a little. <laughs> Frank Burns. Dennis the Menace. He'd mess up your dinner, you know that. You'd, <laughs> yeah, you'd be wearing just... it by the time you left that restaurant. <laughs> I can't take, take you, you anywhere. anywhere. It'd, It'd be, be dogs, dogs running around. around. you got Marmaduke. All right. <laughs> Marmaduke. What is your most memorable rookie moment? Now, that this could... Now, hang on. Okay. This could be your most memorable moment on the rookie of the show, the ABC show that you're on presently. Or... <laughs> It could be uh, like when you were when you were new oh. and you were. Let's go with the second. Let's go with the second. The second when one you're is rookie, so, you're just getting so started in whatever. Cooler. Yeah, let's go. You're getting started in whatever you're getting started in. You got a rookie moment, and it's your favorite. Go. I got one. Go, go. Okay. One Life to Live, 1994. I'm doing a scene with Bob Woods. He plays my uncle, Bob Buchanan. Buchanan. I'm so popular. popular. Did I say that? In, in the, the middle of the, the scene, he reaches, reaches out with, with his leg, leg and, and he pushes, pushes me to the, the side. side. So I stepped over and he went, I was in his light. <laughs> and he didn't stop the scene. He didn't do anything. I just, I stepped over to the side. And he goes, and we keep going. <laughs> He's smooth as butter, that guy. <laughs> to this day. Yours? I can't, I don't know. My, My most, most just, just, when, when I, I was first, first starting out, my yeah. most memorable Rookie moment. Um, like, oh, I'll, I'll never forget, forget and I'll never, never do this again. again. Or, or that's the way I want to. Someone who said, hey, stop trying so hard or try harder. Oh, I, I think, think I. I um, don't, don't worry, worry about, about all the thinking, thinking time. time. Because, because I'm thinking. <laughs> I was shooting, um, I had like one scene in Man on a Ledge and I played like Anthony Mackey's wife and we were shooting in this graveyard in Queens and it was freezing and I just remember I kept like I kept complaining about the cold and then as I'm walking like vocally like god it's so cold <laughs> and as I'm walking back to my trailer I was like I just filmed a movie you know what I mean oh, yeah, like yeah. it's cold oh, but, but you're, you're making, making a movie, movie. Yeah. and I, I thought, thought to myself, myself you know stop, stop complaining. complaining yeah, yeah. You, can you can get, get warm anytime. anytime you can't really make movies to drop a bat there you go what advice would you give your rookie self starting in the entertainment business. That's a good one. Oh. Learn, Learn to, to keep, keep a lot, lot of your thoughts, thoughts to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. fair. Just, that's you totally know, fair. like a lot of stuff can be internal. Mm -hmm. You don't have to vocalize everything. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't. I do. <laughs> um, my, my thing, thing would, would be, be um, uh, uh, there's... there's so, so little, little success, success to, to be had in this, this career, career of our choice, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of failure to be had. I would say to my younger self, uh, don't take it personally. That's such a good one. And I've, I've, I'm visiting you from 2018. Everything's going to work out fine. You're going to be good. That's I a good also one. I tell myself that too. Describe your character in three words. Can I? She da bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Thanks. Mm -hmm.
Uh, okay, you describe mine in three words. <laughs> who's I don't the want to rookie curse. now? I was going to say, <laughs> hot ass mess. No, who's the rookie now? That's perfect. It's you. four words, though. It's still, but it's still I like you. the way you did it. It's still me. Yeah. What is the name of your show, premiere date, and time? Our show is called The Rookie. It's on ABC, premiering on... October 16th. At 10, 9 Central. Set your watch. Thanks for watching. Remind me to watch the rookie. <laughs> what? Copy that. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>